Hi, my name is Elizabeth Bokeman and I'm an adult rheumatologist at the University of California, Los Angeles. And I'm also the founder and co-director of the UCLA CTD ILD program. Interstitial lung disease is actually the leading cause of death in patients with systemic sclerosis. And the purpose of this study was to look at the effects of one treatment on interstitial lung disease and systemic sclerosis, and this is cyclophosphamide. Cyclophosphamide has been used a lot to treat these patients, and there were two studies that were very informative about the effects of cyclophosphamide in SSC ILD, and these were the scleroderma lung studies one and two. Both of these studies included relatively early patients with systemic sclerosis who had some evidence of ground glass opacity or inflammation on their HRCT scan. And in this study, patients received 12 months of oral cyclophosphamide. What we found in this study is that patients in both SLS1 and SLS2, they had a significant improvement in their lung function over the first 12 months of the study. But once they stopped the cyclophosphamide therapy, in the second year of the study, their lung function declined. So the results of both of these trials suggest that treatment for SSC ILD needs to be continued beyond a two-year period, but cyclophosphamide is effective in treating patients early on.